Thick hair is a blessing and curse. You get the volume, but you also have to put in the effort to make sure it looks good. If you're looking for some natural remedies for thick hair, this video is for you. The first thing we notice about a person is their hair. Hair shapes personality. Thick, lustrous, bouncy hair may transform your appearance when treated as art. Recessing hairlines and hair loss may be stressful. Why do hairs fall out? Hair loss can be caused by a number of things, such as, heredity, it is the most common reason why men and women all over the world lose their hair. Genes do play a big role in not having a thick crown of hair. Age, as people get older, their hair grows more slowly. At some point in life, our hair follicles stop making new hair, which causes our hair to thin. Age also makes hair lose its color. Alopecia areata. Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disease in which the body's immune system attacks hair follicles, which hold hair to the scalp. This causes hair loss. Childbirth. Due to changes in hormone levels during and after pregnancy, some women lose a lot of hair a few months after giving birth. An imbalance of hormones, because of polycystic ovarian syndrome, cysts form in the ovaries. It comes with other signs and symptoms, hair loss being one of the most common. Scarring alopecia. Loss of hair is what alopecia is. In this condition, the hair follicles are killed by inflammation. Once the hair follicles are gone, the person will never be able to grow hair again. Diseases of the thyroid. Hair loss can be caused by either too little or too much thyroid activity. When you comb or brush your hair, sometimes clumps of hair come out. Scalp psoriasis. People with psoriasis, an autoimmune skin disease, may get psoriasis on their scalp at some point. This can be very painful and cause a lot of hair to fall out. Treatment for cancer. Chemotherapy or radiation therapy used to treat cancer can make people lose all or some of their hair within a few weeks. Nutritional deficiency. When you don't get enough biotin, iron, protein, or zinc, you can lose your hair. Hair loss has these signs. If you keep losing hair, your hair will never be thick. Some people may also have the following signs and symptoms along with hair loss. Sharp stinging or burning feeling right before hair loss. Itches and burns at the place where hair is falling out. It also causes tenderness at the same place. Scaly bald spots that often have sores or blisters that break open and leak pus. The sores are red and swollen, and they itch and drain pus. Scaly psoriasis spots on scalp. Home remedies for thick hair include the following. 1. Amla, Indian gooseberry, or Amla, has a lot of vitamin C and other good chemicals like gallic acid and quercetin. Together, these give your hair a lot of the nutrients it needs to grow long and thick. Pieces of dry Amla can be boiled in coconut oil to make Amla oil. It works great as a hair tonic and helps hair grow. You can also use a mixture of fresh amla juice and lime juice to stop hair loss and make hair grow faster. This should help you get hair that is thick and shiny. 2. Onion. Onion is a great way to treat patchy hair loss. Onions have vitamin C, allicin, and compounds with sulfur in them that help hair grow back. Use onion juice to rub the area until it turns red. After that, put honey on the same spot. 3. Oil made from rosemary and lavender. When rosemary and lavender oil are put on the scalp topically, they stimulate the hair follicle, which stops hair loss. Massage your scalp every day with these oils to stop hair loss. 4. Walnut oil. Walnut oil makes hair grow and is good for it in a natural way. Walnuts are made up of iron, copper, zinc, potassium, manganese, fats, and proteins. These nutrients help make up for any lack of nutrients and give you thick, shiny hair. To stop hair loss, rub walnut oil into your scalp and into the roots of your hair. 5. Licorice. Patchy baldness can be treated with licorice because it helps hair grow. Licorice is mostly made up of glycyrrhizin, which is a potassium and calcium salt of glycyrrhizinic acid. 
Mix the licorice pieces with the milk and a pinch of saffron. Create a smooth paste. Now, before going to bed at night, put this paste on the bald spots. 6. Sage. Sage makes hair shafts thicker and increases blood flow to the scalp. Mix together a few drops of sage oil and peppermint oil. Add olive oil to this mixture to make it less thick. When this oil mixture is massaged into the scalp, it stops hair loss. Sage rinse, add both sage and rosemary to boiling water to make a sage and rosemary rinse. Now, use it to rinse your hair. This will help your hair grow thicker. 7. Bee Pollen Bee Pollen helps make hair grow faster. Mix hot water and bee pollen to make a mask, and then put this mask on your hair to help it grow. You can also put bee pollen in your shampoo to give your hair a boost every time you wash it. 8. Green Tea Green tea helps stop hair from falling out and makes hair grow faster and stronger. Rinse with green tea. Put a few green tea bags in water and let them steep for a few minutes. Let this mix cool down. Now, wash your hair with a mild shampoo and rub green tea on your scalp for a few minutes. Now, run cold water through your hair. Add some green tea, coconut oil, and olive oil to a bowl. Apply this mask to your hair and scalp and rub it in. After a few minutes, wash it off with cold water. 9. Hibiscus By making more blood flow to the scalp, hibiscus helps hair grow in thick and full. Make a paste by grinding together a few hibiscus leaves, some flowers, and some fresh yogurt. Put this paste on your hair and let it sit for an hour. Then, use lukewarm water and a mild shampoo to wash it off. 10. Peppermint Oil Peppermint is a very effective medicine that can help your hair grow. Peppermint oil can be massaged right into the scalp. After that, wash the hair with a mild shampoo.